scuba diving. How you going there, darling? How's your morning? Madness. No, that's good. <laughs> guests are out. We've got eight guests coming in. We've got um, guests out on a dive, some people playing on the lagoon. Kids are playing cards. Staff cooking lunch. A new staff just arrived. All by 9 30. Whoa. So, yeah. You get your, did you get your first? Yeah, look, I've been editing still this morning for tonight's video. It's a lot. We need to calm down a little bit on the size of our videos. What's that face? What's that angry face, hey? Oh, what's on your wrist, darling? Have you been making beads? Yeah. Oh. Did you steal my cake? What's in your mouth? What's in this mouth? Is that mummy cake? Banana cake. I love your hair There's today, Philly. Cake in the world. <laughs> you see a little hair. <laughs> so it's a bit of a rainy day today, uh, which makes it challenging. We've got these little kind of mini storms just coming through, not even really squalls. Very little wind in them, a bit of rain, which is just sort of shutting down options for some of the activities and making it a bit more challenging. But there's really clear water, so we are hoping still maybe today to get in the water at least for a snorkel, if not for a dive, maybe a bit later on. Yeah, this is one of the challenging days is when you have these weather conditions that keep changing because people want to get out there and do certain things that aren't ideal in these sorts of weather conditions. So you're kind of trying to hem everyone's expectations and keep everyone safe but keep everyone happy. So anyway, all good. Got to get back to it. Daddy you would love a bead bracelet. I would love a bead bracelet, honey. <laughs> I think we have to make a big one for the hands. Why? Are my hands too big? Yeah. So actually the first question that came in on the comments on our first app was asking to see more about the actual resort. You know, where our staff are situated on the island, where the bungalows are, and if we have things like a pool. We definitely don't have a freshwater pool. We have the largest saltwater pool on the planet, which is the longest saltwater lagoon in the world, which is right behind us here. That's where we love to go out and snorkel in the seagrass, look for seahorses, use the stand-up paddle boards, look for turtles, or just enjoy, splash around. It's a magical spot to spend a lot of time. We also do our dive training out there, which we've got a little bit going on at the moment. So yeah, that's kind of our massive pool right off the front of the resort. And then on the other side here, we have our deep water channel. That's primarily where we do a lot of our snorkeling from. We access all of our scuba dives, either from boat or from the shore there as well. Come on, I can, uh, yeah. All right, Nana's looking after the kids. Thank you, Nana. Thank we're going for a dive. Let's go. What do you think we're gonna see on Chara, guys? Going to uh, a puffer fish. A puffer fish? Alright, I'll try to find your puffer fish and take a video, okay? Yeah. What do you want? Please don't see a hammerhead, sir. What, without you? Mm. You really want to see a hammerhead at the moment, don't you? But at least if I see one, I can get a video of him for you. That'd be cool. They swim really funny like this. Can you do a hammerhead? Mm. Put your hands up here like this and then go like that. Mm. Hammerhead. Alright, love you guys. Bye. Oh, good hammerhead! Oh, there's another hammerhead! Oh, good one! Whoa, what, what are your legs doing? He's doing ballet. <laughs> That's a hammer plie. No. Demi plie. No, I, I'm with Megan Marley. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Megan Marley. Oh, clever. Thank you. Alright. See you All right. later, alligator. See you later, alligator. Don't forget your toilet paper. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go diving. <laughs> Go diving. <laughs> you can tell we don't get much time away from the kids. <laughs> A few moments later. Day two of Vlogmas. We're going scuba diving. Are you ready to go, baby? Nice look with your glasses and your yes, wedding. I will take those off. You can talk with you. What? <laughs> I have to use it to keep my hair in. You need a haircut. I need a haircut. <laughs> Vlog was challenged. On camera. I'm Vlog not was challenged. Jace needs a haircut. <laughs> This is our Jill and Grant's camera that we're borrowing. Perfect. Jill, 
and, and Grant. Grant's camera. Thank you very much. Thank you. If, uh, if you continue watching our videos and giving us a few views, we might make enough money one day to buy our own camera. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, thank you, Jill and Grant. Do you think Santa knows how to make a guitar? Yeah. I don't know. Is there a, such a thing as a kid's guitar? Yeah. What makes you want to ask Santa for a guitar though, Arlo? Like a guitar? With, with sometimes like music or something? With Uncle Rob. Yeah. Maybe we should get Uncle Rob to play some music for our video. Yeah. That's a good idea. I think you might be right. I reckon Santa could probably make a guitar. Well, what I do you think? think? For me. I really want one. That would be really cool, but I don't know. We can just ask. We'll see. We'll see what Santa delivers. Just depends, doesn't it, what he can do in his elves. So something pretty different at UP is that we don't have a post box, do we? Because we're just here on a small island. Hey, we Alan. Just, we just put them in the Nusu Nusa. In the Nusu Nusu? Yeah. So we're going to do our Santa letters. And then, then the owl came and picked it up. Who's going to pick it up? The owl. Which owl? Santa's magic owl. Santa's magic owl is going to pick up the letter and deliver it to the North Pole for us. I'd like to go to the North Pole. Would you like to go to the North Pole? Yes, I think. Well, we can never be able to reach the North Pole. Why? Because it's too far away. Oh, you never know, are we? We have to fly. Yeah. Because it's a long way. Maybe we'll go to the Arctic one day. Maybe we can go in the boat to the North Pole. Yeah. Gosh, yeah. Yeah. I'll see enough. And we'll see lots of whales and dolphins. If we go to the Arctic? Yeah. That'd be and cool, I'm wouldn't it? Maybe we'd see a narwhal. Oh, narwhal, I love them. 
I love narwhals, the unicorns of the sea. We are just back from our dive and the kids are doing their letters to Santa Claus. Since we live on an island and we don't have a post office here, sending a letter to Santa is a little different. So we usually draw a picture, write a nice letter to Santa, just to remind him that we're out here on Upi Island, which is really remote. And that way his magic owl will know how to get back to Upi on Christmas. Once we're finished our letters today, we'll go and pop them up there before the kids go to bed tonight. And then we'll check in the morning and make sure that the magic owl has picked them up, ready to deliver them to Santa. Little helpers in the workshop need some notice, especially if they're gonna make something like a guitar. I don't know if Santa's gonna be able to do that. That's, oh, I saw. that's pretty tricky. Mommy, a shark. A shark? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's a little cookie monster behind that card. <laughs> Whose shoes are you wearing? Mine. Yours. <laughs> Shaky monster. Santa, please can you make me a guitar? A small one to make music. Oh, um, love Arlo. Um, Dear Santa, I'd love a guitar, a small one to make m music. Music. Could you please make it? Love, Ophelia. Where are we going to put them, Daddy? I've got to go in the noose noose. For the magic owl. And the magic owl will come and take them to Santa. Alright, you roll them up. Got a few others that she stashed in here earlier. We don't oh. know what she's asked for. I won't unwrap it. I won't unwrap it. No, don't open it. It's for Santa. Okay. It's illegal to open someone else's mail. Okay. <laughs> Just wait, Mummy. Wait. I don't, oh, are you going that side, mate? Yeah, you can go on a different side if you want. Yeah. Put it in, buddy. Mm -hmm. yeah. How about... You need a little help. That's okay. You watch here. You can stand up on my knee. Come up. Okay. No, mate. Daddy, look at mine. In there. Are you secure? Yeah. Alright, great job. Do you think the owl's gonna spot that one? Yeah. I reckon he'll see it. He'll see it. It's a tricky owl. All right. All right, well there's, that's that job done. We even made a to-do list, Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Fantastic. Uh, Christmas to-do list. We gotta find a tree, bake gingerbreads, make a wreath, <gasps> do our Santa letters, which we've just done, learn to sing some carols, decorations, our Santa sacks. What are you doing, Gremlin? Daddy. What? Can I tell Daddy the we have to get out of Kibbley. What do we have to get out of Kibbley? What did I say we had to get out of Kibbley? A bottle of wine. Yeah. For Santa? Yeah. What does Santa eat no, though? Santa doesn't get the expensive organic Santa, wine, I sorry. think Santa likes gingerbreads. <laughs> Gingerbread? And a cup of milk. And a cup of milk? Yeah. We usually give him a beer. Well, we've still got 23 days to sort that out, so we all should right. be alright. But we've got to get a Christmas tree soon, don't oh, we? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. So good. Kids dinner. We're gonna get this ready for the kids and say goodbye for today. They're having a nice simple pesto pasta tonight. And we will see you tomorrow. Make sure you leave us a comment below if there's something that you really wanna see here on the island. Like and subscribe so you're notified when our next episode tomorrow goes up. And we'll see you soon. Bye now.